Dear students, today we will see about DNA polymerases. It is one of the important enzymes in replication process. DNA polymerases. This enzyme is a key enzyme in replication process. It is found in all living organisms. The main purpose of this enzyme is to replicate the DNA molecule and also it helps in the repair and maintenance of the DNA. This enzyme is very critical in the transmission of genetic information from one generation to next generation. Regarding the discovery of this enzyme, the first DNA polymerase was identified in the year 1950s by Arthur Kornberg and his postdoctoral fellow Robert Lehman. So first initially they don't number as DNA polymerase 1, 2 and 3 but because of the order of discovery later the enzyme which was discovered by Kornberg was given the number 1, DNA polymerase 1. So the DNA polymerase 1 mainly functions in the repair of damaged DNA. Even though it carries out important functions in connecting the fragments in the lagging strand in the replication process, it is not the key enzyme in the replication process but it is a main part is in the forming the fragments that is Okasaki fragments the lagging strand the polymerase one plays a very important role in carrying out or connecting these Okasaki fragments in the replication process. Now we will see about the prokaryotic DNA polymerases. In E. coli we have at least five different DNA polymerases. They are distinguished mainly by their enzymatic properties, subunit composition and its abundance. So the, we have five different types and the five different types are classified based on these three things that is enzymatic properties subunit composition and abundance. First we will see about DNA polymerase 1. It was discovered by Arthur Kornberg et al. in 1956. This DNA polymerase with the proteolytic enzyme subtilisin resulted in an increase of polymerase activity and decrease of exonucleus activity because the polymerase activity resides in the clino fragment which was cleaved from this enzyme by the proteolytic enzyme activity. So they contain single disulfide bond and one sulfhydryl group. The main functions of DNA polymerase 1. The main function of DNA polymerase 1 is to fill DNA gaps that rise during DNA replication, repair and recombination. They also do proofreading activity otherwise called 3 prime, 5 prime exonucleus activity. Apart from that it also perform excision repair activity otherwise called 5 prime 3 prime exonucleus activity and also it carries nick translation process these are the four important functions is carried out by dna polymerase 1 see this diagram the proofreading activity of dna polymerase 1 the diagram illustrates that if any, any wrong base is added during polymerization reaction, only that wrong base is removed by 
the proofreading activity of DNA polymerase 1. And that wrong base is replaced by the correct one, then only the polymerization will start. This type of activity of removing a wrong base, if it is added from the direction 3 prime to 5 prime, only one that is a wrong one only are removed from this newly formed template. That type of activity is called proofreading activity. Precision repair activity, it is something different. Here, a wrong base, otherwise we can say any RNA molecule that will be removed from the direction 5 prime to 3 prime activity, exonucleus activity. Here, the wrong base, in case of proofreading activity, only the wrong base alone is removed. Likewise, in excision repair activity, we cannot remove only the wrong base. Instead of that, it is the bases are removed in the form of segments. So, that is a major difference between the proofreading and the excision repair activity. Again, repeat that for your understanding purpose. In proofreading, only the wrong base is removed and replaced by the correct one, whereas in excision repair activity, the total base is removed in the form of a segment. So, the structure of the enzyme, the domain shape of all DNA polymerases whose structure are known have been described as right hand with the thumb, palm and finger domains. The palm region is responsible for catalyzing the phosphoryl transfer. The finger region is main area where they will interact with the incoming nucleoside triphosphate and the template base to which it is paired. And thumb is believed to help in this positioning the DNA and its movement that is in translocation process. So the DNA polymerase 1, the molecular weight of that is 109 kilodaltons. It is a single polypeptide chain which requires magnesium as a cofactor for its function. This enzyme when it is cleaved by trypsin, they cleaved into two fragments. The large fragment is called, the size is 75 kilodaltons, small fragment is called 36 kilodaltons. The large fragment will have the activity 3 prime, 5 prime exonucleus activity that is proofreading activity resides in the large fragment. Likewise, DNA polymerase 2, the size is 90 kilodaltons and it is not involved in the replication, it is mainly involved in repair process. It has proofreading activity, but no excision repair activity. So, it is mentioned the other name for excision repair activity is 5 prime, 3 prime exonuclease activity. We have nearly 40 molecules of DNA polymerase 2 in a cell. DNA polymerase 3, this is the key enzyme and a very important enzyme in the replication process. And this is the enzyme which form leading strand in the replication process. The molecular weight of this DNA polymerase 3 is 900 kilodaltons. It is a very complex enzyme. It is made up of 10 subunits. This DNA polymerase 3 I have told you that is a key enzyme because it can add nearly 150,000 nucleotides per minute. Compared to DNA polymerase 1, these three will have more processivity power. That is, it can add so much of nucleotides per minute that is not there for polymerase 1. And it has proofreading activity, but no excision repair activity. If you see this table, you can understand the different types of DNA polymerases both in prokaryotes and eukaryotes. 
In prokaryotes, we have the three important enzymes, polymerase 1, 2 and 3. We can see 1 and 2 will have only one subunit, one polypeptide chain, whereas 3 will have 10 subunits. Likewise, the molecular weight for 1 is 109, 2 is 90, 3 is 900. And we can find proofreading activity in all these three enzymes whereas excision repair activity we can find only in DNA polymerase 1. Among these three, the key enzyme is DNA polymerase 3 for replication process. And 1 is also involved in replication and repair, but 2 is only involved in DNA repair process. In case of eukaryotic DNA polymerases, we have DNA polymerase alpha, gamma, DNA polymerase delta, DNA polymerase epsilon. We have four subunits in DNA polymerase alpha. We have two subunits in gamma. We have two subunits in delta. We have only one subunit in epsilon. The molecular weight for alpha is 300 kilo daltons. Gamma approximately 80 to 180 to 300 kilo daltons. Delta is approximately 170 to 230 kilo daltons. Epsilon 250 kilo daltons. The alpha doesn't have both proofreading excision repair activity, whereas the gamma, delta, epsilon all will have proofreading activity but no excision repair activity. And among these four, gamma is particularly meant for mitochondrial DNA replication other three involved in nuclear DNA replication. You can see here DNA polymerase 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I have told you in the beginning slides that we have five different polymerases, but the three I have described in detail because if you see here. Polymerase 1 is mainly in, uh, responsible for repair and primer removal. 2 I told you in repair system and 3 in chromosomal replication. Whereas 4 and 5, they are mainly involved in repair and doesn't have any role in the replication process. So we don't describe here. So among the 5 DNA polymerases, 3 are very important. Among the 3, DNA polymerase 3 is the prime enzyme. And one is also important on supporting the replication process, whereas other DNA polymerases are mainly involved in repair process. Eukaryotic DNA polymerases, also they have different DNA polymerases. We have more than 15 eukaryotic DNA polymerases, but out of these 15, only three are essential for the replication process. DNA polymerase delta, epsilon, alpha, they are all nuclear DNA polymerases. Gamma, I told you, it is involved in mitochondrial DNA replication. A primase, the main involved in initiating new DNA strands. Because it is having four subunit protein, two for DNA polymerase alpha, two for primase action. Primase is meant for synthesizing RNA primer and after primer is synthesized it is hand over to alpha polymerase alpha to initiate the DNA synthesis this term you should know when we describe the DNA polymerases is a characteristic of enzymes that operate on polymeric substrates the degree of processivity is defined as the average number of nucleotides added each time the enzyme binds a primer template junction. DNA polymerase delta and epsilon, they have relatively low processivity. DNA alpha primase is rapidly is replaced by delta and epsilon because they can only initiate alpha. After alpha is replaced by delta and epsilon, epsilon is responsible for synthesizing leading strand, whereas 
delta is responsible for synthesizing lagging strand in eukaryotes different types of dna polymerases in eukaryotes but out of which we describe only the four types the remaining all the dna polymerases in eukaryotes are involved in repair process so we don't describe because it is not so important for replication process